Okie dokie. What is going on here? Hello, hello, checking the audio. There may be an echo. Maybe not. Yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, we are good. All right, what you guys see there, available tokens, guys. I'm going to save those, even though it doesn't really matter. If you guys have those tokens, save them. Don't use them. Don't be wasting your time with them. Because, I mean, if you're going for camos, just save them, man. Don't use them. Pretty sure you guys are smart not to use them. Just letting you guys know in advance. That way you guys can like stack them with double XP or whatever they do in the future. I don't think you're able to do that though. Anyway. Play some model for two. It's been a minute since I've played this game. Here we go. Hard point. Hard point. Alright, this is going to be interesting. What the hell's in my shirt? That was really weird. Alright, here we go. Who wants to get wrecked? Hello? 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 That's the- Oh my goodness. That guy's watching the game. Stone man. Whoa, 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 what's going on? How do I get killed but not my teammate? How come I was the one that needed to die there? Like, come on, dude. Who killed me? Oh, of course I... I get one-shotted by that shotgun, but when I use it, I get hella hit markers. Okay. Whatever. Man, this game is so bad, dude. Jesus Christ. This game is so bad. Excuse me, what? Bull crap. Bull crap. Okay. I'm like on the death streak right now, it's not looking well. Hostile UAV in the area. Friendly UAV on enemy personnel at the hard point. Get wrecked. Come on, teammate, you get him! Oh my god. My teammates are a bunch of idiots. Like, all the damn time, man. Drop their sniper. Locating the next hard point. Get ready. Oh my god, dude. Anyways, speaking of garbage teammates, talk about garbage games. Talk about Black Ops 2. Now, you guys follow me on Twitter. Wait, speaking on Twitter... Uh, Wow, wait, what? Yeah, I'm out, of, I'm out of this lobby. Speaking of Twitter, I was going to record a video of me signing up to Twitter Blue. And uh, as I went up to uh, upload the video, I deleted the footage by accident. Since it took me like three times to get the video right, like the commentary wise. So I was screen recording it and going over it with commentary on how to do it, you know, just for jokes and memes and stuff. So now I'm not just stuck with Twitter blue. Uh, my subscription won't end till December 9th. And I already canceled my subscription, of course, but I was trying to make a video of me signing up to Twitter blue on how to get verified really fast. And <laughs> I deleted the video. So um, now I'm stuck with Twitter blue. I lost $8 and uh, well, $8 and 65 cents to be exact. And <laughs> yeah, that sucks. <laughs> uh, another thing, uh, Black Ops 2 actually um, just turned 10 years old. And I, I know a lot of people like to dick ride that game and everything. Don't get me wrong, I really, I did have a really good time back in the day with that game. 
but that sounds kind of sexual the way I just put it there. But anyway, I did have a really good time playing that game back in the day in its heyday with my friends. And, you know, I remember staying up all night. I remember I had a math test that next day. Enemy UAV and uh, did I have a math test? No, no, no. I did not have a math test. I did not have a test that day. I was in the, the, the next week after that. Oh my god. Getting my dates mixed up at this point. But anyway, I do remember playing it, staying up all night, doing an all nighter with it. And. What the hell is going on? My audio is way too loud, I'll tell you that. But personally, for me, Black Ops 2 was one of those games that kind of ran Call of Duty for me. That's where all the sweat started coming up, and all the professional gaming became a thing, and. I mean, like, it, it's just, it ruined gaming for me in general. And after that, personally, for me, in my opinion, Call of Duty started going downhill from there. Um, I don't know, I just never liked Black Ops 2 that way. I did like the free-for-all, though, I'll tell you that, man. Free-for-all and Black Ops 2 was the GOAT. I'll give it that. Right next to Modern Warfare 2 free-for-all. That was a lot of fun as well. You know, back in the good old days. But... We are losing Alpha. I mean, Call of Duty, Call of Duty Ghost is not bad either, not thinking about it. I mean, what's what's worse, this game or Cod Ghosts? I don't think it's that bad anymore, considering what we got nowadays. I mean, Call of Duty just has lost its identity. Just like I was, what I said last time with the... What the hell is, dude, where's everyone at? That's what I said last time about. Dude, I can't concentrate. This is exactly why I can't do any cock comms. I can't talk and play at the same time. I just can't do that. My brain's not trained to do that. Anyway, wow. Undertaker killed me. <laughs> dude, I don't know what the hell I'm even saying anymore. I'm like stumbling all over my words. Oh well. What's your block? Oh my god. Many of these first person shooter games nowadays have just lost so much of their their identity to the point where like they're just not fun. Other like the gamer like ourselves, you know, the hardcore veterans that have been playing these games and franchises for so many damn years. Look at that toss. Like, they're just so lacking in features and unfinished, unpolished. I mean, I get software is not, you know, completely perfect, of course, you know, software. Um, it's all human made and put together and resources and whatever, whatever not, and. And I get it, you know, software isn't perfect, hardware isn't perfect. There's always human error in creating those products and software because obviously it's all human based unless there's software out there that creates its own software from a AI. I don't know what the hell I'm saying anymore, but the point is I understand things will always not be perfect and there's always errors. But when you make a game that is not fun like this, sweating your ass off for no reason, skill-based matchmaking, putting you up with people with the same skill level as you, it's not fun, man. It really isn't. If you think this is fun, you're a clown. All right, I'm just calling out right now. This is not fun. Like, no one's getting better. No one's trying to get better. We're all doing average. We're all literally doing the exact same. Of course, you're playing skill-based match, you know, rigged lobbies, you know, boosting. That's, I understand why people do that. People don't want to play against sweats every single damn time. I would do the same thing, but honestly, that just puts more work onto me, setting that up for literally 30 minutes of my life. Because within an hour or so, playing this game, I'm already done. I'm trying to clock out. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ, look at this. You guys think this is fun? Look at this guy. He was sweating so hard. What the hell? Oh my god. So, hope you guys enjoyed my my rant there, I guess. Battlefield, Halo, Call of Duty. They're all just what they're... What the heck? That kill cam looked really sus. Oh my gosh, everybody on my team was level 55. Look at that. That's a perfect representation right there. We're all level 55. Jesus Christ. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Halo Infinite, Battlefield, Call of Duty. You guys need to fix your shit. Call of Duty, do what Call of Duty's... Call of Duty needs to do what Call of Duty does best. Battlefield needs to do what Battlefield does best. Halo needs to do what they do best. Everybody needs to stick onto their lane. Do their strengths. Learn from your pros and cons. Maybe improve some aspects of each of your respected games, but... All these games just feel the exact same, which obviously they're first-person shooters, but... They're all just lacking in that fun factor, I guess. Just lazy development, or there's not much money going in. I mean, I doubt there's enough money, because, I mean, all these franchises do so much money. I mean, they make mega numbers, right? Huge numbers. And that's no excuse. Why does my character's hair look like Play-Doh? You see... They spend so much time with all these really cool effects in the background, bro. All I really need... I'm a really simple guy, man. Personally, what I need on my main menu... Just give me a list. Campaign, multiplayer, and the third mode, zombies, or whatever the hell they add. And <laughs> just give me a main menu. Let me find a match. Go find match. Search the playlist. You know, pick a playlist and look for a match there. And that's it. Just like in the old Call of Duty games. You go in there, do what you have to do, and wait for a game to start up. Oh, no, I guess it's tried to be too fancy with it. And I get it. These consoles are able to handle that. And PCs nowadays are able to handle all this extra crap, but... I feel like there's more development time going to these useless features that no one really cares about than actually putting enough effort into making content for the game itself. Like, for example, you guys always <laughs> uh, hear me talk about when the game loads in, you know, they're, they're in those cars or whatever, those cutscenes before the game starts. Like, they put more time into that crap than actually putting enough time in somewhere else where it needs it. Content, maps, maybe more weapons, you know, stuff like that. More levels for spec ops, for the people that like that. You know, more maps. You guys know what I mean? I don't know. I guess I'm just getting too old for this. And you know, luckily for me though, my gaming uh, plate, it has all types of games on there. I like any type of game. I like puzzle games. I like first person shooters. I like third person shooters. I like uh, strategy games. I like MMORPGs, RPGs, or whatever. You guys go through my gamer card. You guys know what type of games I like. I like going for achievements. I like going for trophies. I like going for stuff like that. And I don't know, dude. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. And Take it easy. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, when, when this is going up, I believe it's Monday. So, yeah. Later.